Welcome back. Never shut up. It's your boy Marcel. Wow, let's get into these comments. I got to go get these kids dressed, damn it. Caitlin Clark. Uh, fair point. Tiger Woods was the same way. Elite and rare. Yeah, that's from yesterday when we were talking. Clay Travis, um, Jamel Hill, and Paul Pierce calling her a little white girl, and she, she only get attention because she's white, which I don't think was a direct quote. I think it was a misquote of Jamel. I don't know all the details, and I ain't about to find out because I just know the general point is this. Caitlin Clark is going to get more attention playing basketball because she's white. And, and, <laughs> I got more attention going to Columbia because I'm black. And, I'm from Compton. Duh. Like, why they got to stop fighting shit? You know what it is? We don't catch when we're hypocrites. And when we do, we want to act like we ain't catch it. Dog, you think I don't walk around with a badge saying I went to Columbia? When there's 9 million white kids that are rich, could say the same thing, but they don't stick out. <laughs> Compton and Columbia, black and Columbia. Oh, interesting. It happened to me last night. I'm walking in. I told you that dinner, the executives are walking in. He's like, yeah, yeah, you played in the field and all that stuff. I know who you are and all that. And then he's like, where'd you go to school? I said, Columbia. He said, Columbia? Now they try to hide behind. I didn't know Columbia had a football team. Well, stupid, you should have smacked yourself in the head as soon as you said that. How the hell I make it to the NFL? I didn't play college football. <laughs> Shut it. You know what you want to say. Damn. You from Compton? Big old black dude went to Columbia? <laughs> it don't bother me. I use it. Kayla Clark using it too. Shouldn't bother her. Shouldn't bother you. All right, let's get into this. Um, Kayla Clark not accepted Ice Cube $5 million deal to play in the WA, WNBA for 80K when Ice Cube said, I allow her to play in both leagues. Looks racist. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I just know it ain't smart. I will play in the big three and WNBA because they all play in the WNBA and go to Russia and Czechoslovakia and stuff. So, no, I'm not. I'm going yay, yay. I'm going on the west side and play. <laughs> you got me twisted. Um, let's get out of here. Dame Dash, the only brother I know who put down the powder and kept the ego of a beast. Oh, he used to be on cocaine? I didn't know that. Um, he got the power of a beast, though. Dame Dash's words on The Breakfast Club had a profound impact on me. His perspective on the notion of answering to another man as a boss sparked a realization within me. Yep, I remember that. Shortly after, I took the leap and started my own business. Six years on, I reflect on the pivotal moment as the catalyst for my journey into entrepreneurship. Gotta love that, big dog. I turn this fan on. I'm getting toasty up in here. Okay. Yeah, Dame Dash says a lot. I hate when people be like, well, who's Dame Dash to say it? Who are you to criticize him, fool? We all imperfect. Just take the message. Shit. I put up some Andrew Tate stuff. Few people were like, ah, Andrew Tate, he's this, this, and that. I said, I don't give a damn who he is. I don't know Andrew Tate. I know what he just said, though. And that was real. Y'all need to stop. And then y'all act like y'all got, <laughs> y'all better than somebody. None of y'all better than nobody. If you better than me, don't die. <laughs> Everything else, you ain't gonna... Time is the most important thing in this world, right? If you ain't got no time, you ain't got nothing else, nothing else, no, money, relationship, nothing else, okay? So if you better than somebody for real, don't die. Other than that, you just up, down, you up, you down, you up, you down. Stop acting like you ain't a damn imperfect person. Stop killing everybody, silly. Tom Brady. Cried every time he got touched. They wouldn't let nobody come near him. They can't even tackle nowadays because of him. He's a hypocrite. Now he's out and now he wants everybody to be barbaric. Coach Dre, Hollywood. Uh, well, I will say this. Tom Brady was smart when he played. And Tom Brady said everything he says now back then. Tom Brady like a gangster. <laughs> but he was smart enough to duck when they were shooting. <laughs> Tom Brady said a lot of these statements while he was playing in the NFL. To my point. You said the same thing. All right, you know how we finish every show. Wiley ism. Yeah, my wife's gonna kill me. Um, and it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Anna Marie. Happy birthday, Anna Marie. Happy birthday to my wife. Happy birthday from me. I told you I'm top five lyricists when I'm when I'm hydrated, and I'm not even hydrated, so I'm top ten. All right, who controls you is who you can't criticize. We've heard that before, right? Let's talk through it. Right now in our PC culture. In our culture of pleasantries, make sure you still like me at the end of the cocktail party. I'm going to head nod to everything you say, even though I disagree with all this shit. 
Ah, they win in that room. They win in that moment. They controlling you. I just did an interview with Vlad. I can't wait till that comes out because I wonder how it comes out. Because, you know, when you're in it, it's a little different. See the forest from the trees. It's a little different. But we were laughing at, like, PC culture. We were laughing at cancel culture. And I was like, Vlad, I don't know, because my grandmother was really like the most gangster person ever. Anybody who knows my grandmother, rest in peace, who knew her, knows there's no one rawer than my grandma. There are others on her level, but no one rawer. I am growing into her. I'm not there yet, I don't think, but I really don't care for you to try to control me. So therefore, my criticism goes everywhere because you ain't controlling me. Now, criticism is different than hate, right? Criticism is act, not actor. Hate is actor. I'm not talking about these people. I'm talking about what they did. <laughs> y'all talking about them, and y'all don't even know them. <laughs> so stop it. All right, so make sure we go around. We adjust in our behavior based on what we really feel and what's really true. That's all you got to do. Grab this, connect it to that, tether it to that. What? I am going through who I am and what the truth is and make them go together. That's it. That's life. And then whoever's around is like, nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Be like, okay, that's fine. This world's big enough for you not to like it and for me to like it. Like I always say, let's all eat tacos, but mine got to have ketchup. <laughs> Dog, you're not taking a bite from me. So shut the fuck up. Like, why you care that much? <laughs> Stop it. Point being, stop letting them control you because I know you ain't criticizing them. You know what y'all do? Y'all immature. I'm talking to those that slice. You hate. Ah, forget him. No, 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 no. He says something and that truth hurts. Talk about that. And if you disagree, agree to disagree. Respectfully disagree. But let's have the conversation so we can criticize each other instead of hating on each other. So remember, who controls you? Is who you can't criticize. And y'all scared. Don't be scared. That'll do it for today's episode. Never shut up. Let me take a swig, homie. Love you guys. I really do. That's it. <laughs> Have an amazing day. I know I will. Yes, I will. <laughs>